Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review, another Bavarian Helles. This is from the Herzoglish Bayerisches Brauhaus Tegernsee, uh, which uh, translates to Ducal Bavarian Brewery from Tegernsee. Uh, and it's um, quite known and traditional one, very, very traditional. Has the connections to a monastery, being a monastery brewery for uh, such a long time and um, dates back to the year 1050. It has the history at least from from that early so very traditional also the bottle looks very traditional to me with the label uh, old style looking uh, label old style looking cap and uh, old style looking bottle shape traditional Bavarian style bottle shape old um, not that tall one a little bit uh, wider but still 0 0.5 liter of course which is important um, and you see much of the Bavarian flag right here both in the background and in the coat of arms right here and the old town right here too so gives a really old impression uh, this this brewery to me and it's their Tegonsel Hell which is their main product they do have some other ones of course I'll link to to their uh, link to the Breustübel in the description box below which is of course their um, brewery uh, in and uh, I'm gonna give you some history about this uh, interesting brewery finally I'm allowed to to uh, try this one which I've been reading about a lot before Tegonsel Hell really uh, interesting um, and great hell as it seems like. The um, Herzoglisch Bayerisches Brauhaus Tegernsee which translates to Ducal Bavarian Brewery of Tegernsee is a brewery in Tegernsee Bavaria Germany uh, so it's about uh, 50 kilometers south of Munich. Uh, it is located inside the north wing of a former Tegernsee Abbey and is owned by Maria Anna Duchess in Bavaria, youngest daughter of Max Duke in Bavaria. The company traces its roots back to a brewery that was allegedly founded in the year 1050 at Lake Tegernsee, where in um, 746 the Benedict Benedictine Tegernsee Abbey was established. However, the documented history can only be traced back to 1675 when Abbot Bernd Wenzel relocated the monastery's brewing right from uh, Holzkirchen to Tegernsee, a Benedictine monastery not per se brewed beer. In fact, at the time of the monastery, most monks in Bavaria favored wine over beer. Duke Maximilian I compiled a list with all Bavarian breweries in 1604. Tegernsee was not mentioned. Maximilian had later banned as elector by decree to uh, build more than uh, the existing breweries in Bavaria. If Tegernsee had already owned a brewery at that point in time or even had a proven old brewing right, the later transfer of the brewing rights from the Holzkirchen would not have been necessary. It can therefore be assumed that a brewery did not exist before the first half of the 17th century. Maximilian I paid particular attention to uh, compliance with legal formalities because he uh, was a lawyer trained in Ingolstadt. Several cases are known in which he had to recognize breweries' older rights. In uh, Wichtach and uh, Schwarzenberg, so uh, there is no reason to assume that he wanted to harm the abbot of Tegernsee. In 1817, the Bavarian king Max I Joseph acquired the secular Benedictine monastery and brewery from Baron von Drechsel. The brewery now operated under the name Royal Brown Brewery uh, Tegernsee. For dynastic reasons, the name later changed to Ducal Bavarian Brewery. Since the purchase, the brewery has been owned by Wittelsbach family and is now managed by Maria Anna in Bavaria, a daughter of Max Emanuel Herzog in Bavaria. The brewery's company is now Herzoglisch Bayerisches Brauhaus Tegernsee KG and is headquartered in Tegernsee. 
At the end of 2011, the brewery op opened another bottling plant with about 30 employees in Gimund uh, in the newly designed commercial area Am Kanzlerfeld, just behind the Moose Rhein district. At the main branch of the brewery in Tegernsee, on the ground floor of the west wing of the former monastery Tegernsee, there is a restaurant Herzoglisches Breustübel Tegernsee Peter Hubert GmbH and Company KG. The Breustübel, which mainly serves beer from the brewery, is an independent company under the direction of innkeeper Peter Hubert. Products are Tegernsee Hell, the export beer Tegernsee Special. Tegernser uh, Dunkel Export, Tegernser Pils, Tegernser Leicht, and Quirinius Dunkler Doppelbock. In the winter season, the uh, Blue Page is also available, um, which also is Bock Beer. Uh, the um, occasion of the 200th anniversary of the coronation of the first Bavarian king, the Max I Joseph, beer was brewed. Uh, the beer brand was previously mainly available in and around the Miesbach district. The brand has also been marketed nationwide in recent years. The annual output is around 120,000 hectolitres. The brewery is a member of Brauring, a cooperation uh, company of private breweries from Germany, Austria and Switzerland. So that's some history about this brewery. The uh, Tegels, uh, um, which is very beautiful located. Uh, please feel free to check out the link which I'm linked to the Bräustübel uh, from this brewery. Uh, just beside the lake in the most epic, fantastic Bavarian nature. Uh, big lake, valley, um, green mountains, just fantastic Bavarian nature. So this one is going to be really interesting to try and as I mentioned really old brewery started as a monastery brewery in 1050, uh, it, at least that's what it can date back to. Not really sure that it was started uh, at that year, but yeah, not any strange things happening on the bottle, just normal kind of text, but looking really, really nice. Show it to you once again, every take on sale head, and that's why I like brewers who don't care about creating a a strange label but focus on the traditional great beer that they've been bre uh, brewing for a very long time. Herzoglisch Bayerisches Brauhaus Tegernsee, Tegernsee Hell, gebaut nach dem Reinheitsgebot 1493-1550 is the man who uh, invented the Purito Law right here and of course I only drink brews from the Purito Law. Uh, 4.8 ABV and uh, yeah, here's the coat of arms also I'll show you that closer the very Bavarian coat of arms um, Benedictino Kloster Tegernsee gegründet 746 yeah there's the um, uh, Benedictine monastery uh, here on, on the on the label which you can see a monastery um, Tegernsee Hell, das typisch bayerisches Helle Vollbier, gebraut nach dem bayerischen Reinheitsgebot, kristallklares Gebirgskellwasser, ausgesuchte Rohstoffe, eine über tausendjährige Brautradition, zurückgehend auf das Benediktinerkloster Tegernsee gegründet 746, garantieren wahrhaften Biergenuss. Herzoglich bayerisches Brauhaus Tegernsee, in Tegernsee, of course, Zutaten, Wasser, Gersten, Malz, Hopfen, uh, Alcohol Content 4.8 ABV, as I mentioned. Uh, all in all, it gives a really, really nice impression to me, this one. feel that it's going to be a really high quality Bavarian Hellas, this one final look of the label before opening it up. Tegernsee Hell, final time for this one. So, let's open it up, the Tegernsee Hell. And pour it up. There 
There we have it. The take on sale head looks real nice with all the bubbles, right? If you see that, looks real nice and it's compact white foam head, compact white foam head. Always important to build up that. Uh, keeps the taste in the glass as I always mentioned. Maintain the white foam head all the way through while you drink, keeps the right taste. Uh, very important to do that, in my opinion. Um, color rice, very pale. Um, yellow color of it, typical for the style of Bavarian Helles, uh, which I like so much. Really, really nice. And uh, yeah, this one feels really, really high quality to me regarding the. The look of it, the um, compact white foam head, the um, all the bubbles rises up and the color of it and, and everything. Just gives a real nice impression to me, let's get the aroma. Really fresh of course. Typical for the for the style, the Bavarian um, Helles, which is so great. Great balance, great high quality um, raw materials and brewing process, of course, it's easy to feel that this is a nice one. So, I mean, it looks really nice too, doesn't it? All the small bubbles really so. So, let's try the take on sale hell post. Really nice, of course. Fantastic flavor. A typical um, for this um, Bavarian Hells. If you've been trying Bavarian Hells, which I hope you've been doing, um, otherwise you should because it's a fantastic beer style and a very big uh, popular beer style too. A normal pale lager in Germany. Then you know what I'm talking about regarding this because um, it's. Uh, it's a great flavor, um, yeah, really nice balance, um, just the way I want um, uh, Bavarian Helles, actually, so really fresh and nice in, uh, in the taste, and the big recommendation, I understand why it's quite popular, also and quite legendary, because um, it's really great in taste. The Herzoglisch uh, Brauhaus Bavarian Brauhaus Tegonse. Really, really nice in my opinion. So also, uh, what's important to me with um, drinking the traditional beers that I'm doing is to um, to give the nostalgical feeling which I'm getting with this one, knowing that it has this old history that I was reading about before. That's also one of the reasons for why I'm reading about the history of the brewery and for testing it because I want to know. Uh, where it comes from and the history about it, which is um, giving the, um, the chance for me to look back and uh, at the history about uh, all the people that have been enjoying it. So that's a feeling that I'm getting with this one, definitely. And I'm also longing back to Bavaria, of course, uh, while enjoying this one, which is. Really, really nice, and as I said in the beginning, not a brewery who um, is um, getting the impression of that they try to be modern or something like that, try to follow the trends or any shit like that, because when someone is trying to do that, it always becomes shit. Um, follow uh, your heart instead and your tradition and do a great thing instead of just jumping on a new chain um, and um, 
to follow the tradition is that definitely something that this brewery is doing. That's why I can see easily on uh, not only on the bottle but also how this how great this beer tastes. This Bavarian Hellas take on sale head is really really nice. Great Hellas. So um, it's a big recommendation for me. This one really fresh in style. Take on sale had really something that you must try in my opinion. It's fantastic. So um, don't forget to um, to buy the take on sale head and to try it. Uh, I did find it in Germany, of course, and um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's it for now. Hope you continue to follow my channel for more interesting beer reviews. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to um, suggest anything, what I can improve, or any other thing. And I hope you also look forward to the next upcoming beer reviews just as much as I do, because. I really enjoyed to try this different great German beers and I hope you also get inspired and um, find these beers that I'm suggesting and recommending. So hope I see you again in the next German beer review.